Ah, yes, Highlander, the true path to your destiny is to insert this cork up my butthole. Just like I did with your... And I'm kidding about the butt thing. My butt agrees too. <laughs> anyway, greetings, the Astro 30 here. And someone sent me this. It's a USB power meter. It just tells you what uh, current and voltage is coming out through the USB device. So this is going to be a real short video because there's not really much to review. So I'm just going to take it out of its packet. And right away, I love how you can see the electronics through the casing here it's quite neat pretty well much just uh, your standard SMD that's the display I think that's an OLED display as well sorry OLED let's speak properly alright so what we need to do is plug this into a source of well a USB socket Well, at least it's the right way around, but I can't really see much. Apparently, it says zero volts and zero amps. Well, obviously, because, well, there's nothing plugged into it. So I plug my phone into it, as if I'm charging it. Ha. <sighs> huh. Yeah. There we go. It's actually got button, a button under here. Not sure what that does, but let's find out. Right, well, it is upside down. There's the voltage, there's the current, but it's currently showing nothing. Oh, now it is. Reckons it's drawing. Is that 2 MA? Oh, that's amp hours. Milliamp hours. Well, it's not really showing me a voltage though. Oh, that's a reset button, okay. Um, okay, well, it doesn't really do much more than that. Oh, I see. The voltage is off behind here where we can't see it. So I'll just plug it into one of these uh, normal charger adapters you get with phones, which you don't get with phones anymore. And uh, we might get a better display out of it that way. Still upside down. Right, now, it's uh, the right way up. And that's just a standard LCD, it's not an OLED. Anyway, OLED. It says we're drawing 1.1 volt at 1.3 amps at 29 milliamp hours. And we've also got the time over here. Currently it's been plugged in for, well, what looks like one minute and the amperage is going up and down a little bit and if I hit the reset button okay, press and hold it there we go it resets the time and the milliamp hours which is fine what would you use this for? well to measure what current's being pulled out of your adapter because you can plug other things into these adapters other than just phone chargers. You can power all sorts of devices off of a USB socket. So in some cases it might be handy to know well what voltage is the device pulling, how much current is the device pulling. So you know that you're not exceeding the current rating of said adapter. Anyhow, there's not much really to discuss on the testing side of things. So yes, this is the QESI I don't know how you pronounce that QESI oh QESI oh, senpai uh, no um, 
So let's look at this little thing. It's not really exciting. I was trying to actually take the casing apart without damaging it. It looks like it's only clipped in, but I might end up cracking the plastic, so I think I'll leave it well alone. As I say, this is going to be a short video. Um, yeah, these are a handy little device. I mean, I've got not much use for it, but someone might find one of these interesting. And this was on the bag that the thing came in. It just says, Made in China. BXBB dash AX dash AD. Um, alright. Well, I found something online that looks similar. It's basically a USB QC 4.0 intelligent digital display detector. Uh, support fast charging capacity voltage tester power volt meter current meter. US five dollars and ninety three cents. They're not expensive. Um, it's ten dollars AU. And if we look at the supplied image, the display looks very similar. The casing looks very similar. It's just the name branding text across the top here is different. There is even a reset switch there by the looks of things. Looking at a larger image of it, it's actually a menu button. But mine's just a reset switch. So it might be a slight variation in the firmware on the chip in there. But um, I can't find any other images for it. I was going to try and see if I could find an exploded view of it. Like what the circuit board looked like and all without having to take it apart. And I'm in no real mood to take it apart. But yeah, cheap, cool, nifty little gadget. Not very useful, but still nifty anyway. And uh, thanks to Danish Start for sending me that. That was uh, wonderful. I've now finally looked at it. In the original video of the dummy load, when I pulled this out and said I didn't know what it was, a few minutes later I worked out what it was, but I actually cut that piece of footage out. So and I'm surprised no one's actually commented. Oh, I know what that is. But anyway, I'm the Astro 30, and if you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe below. And you can always follow me on Facebook. And the link is in the description as usual. Anyway, this is Yastro30 saying, see ya. <sighs> Might need to insert that cork now.